Welcome to iLecture Online, and here's another example of how we work with exponential growth and decay. Our next example says, at what elevation is the air pressure one half of what it is at sea level in miles and in feet? And then, what fraction of the atmospheric pressure at sea level does a climber experience at the top of Mount Everest? So remember the equation that we used in the previous example that said that the pressure as a function of height is equal to the original pressure at sea level, which was 14.7 pounds per square inch, times e to the minus 0.21t. And I do believe it was 0.21t. Let me check. And yes, that's it. Okay, we don't want to use t. T stands for time. Let's use h for height. There we go. All right. So, how do we do that? Well, let's start with the first problem. At what elevation is the air pressure one half? So the question is H is equal to, question mark, when the pressure is half the original pressure. All right, so we're looking for H and P will be half of that. So half of 14.7 is 7.35. So 7.35 is equal to 14.7 E to the minus 0.21H and H is what we're looking for. Okay. So, let's divide both sides by 14.7, so it gives us 7.35 uh, divided by 14.7 is equal to e to the minus 0.21h. Of course, this divided by that, that was one half, that's the whole point of the problem, e to the minus 0.21h. We're trying to find the height when the pressure is one half the original pressure. So at this point, we're going to take the natural log of both sides, so the natural log of one half equals the natural log of e to the minus 0.21h. We do that, of course, to get rid of this exponential form so we can isolate h, because the natural log of e to the minus 0.21h is simply the exponent, so the natural log of one half is equal to minus 0.21h, and then dividing both sides by negative 0.21, negative 0.21, and reversing the equation, we have h is equal to the natural log of 1 half divided by negative 0.21. Now we grab our calculator, and let's find out what that is equal to. So we take the natural log of 0.15, uh, or 0.5, and then we divide that by, let me do it again, 0.5, take the natural log, there we go, and then divide that by 0.21, make that negative, equals... And somehow that wasn't correct. Let me try that again. 0.5, take the natural log. There we go. So let me write that down. Uh, I was pushing the wrong button on my calculator, and that, of course, never helps. 0 0.693, there's that familiar number again, divided by minus 0 0.21. Okay, so divide that by 0 0.21 negative equals and that's equal to 3.3. And of course, h was in miles in this particular equation, so this is 3.3 miles in elevation. So how high is that in feet? Well, let's convert. So the conversion factor, to go from miles to feet, we put feet at the top, miles at the bottom, and the one mile is 5,280 feet. So let's multiply 3.3 times 5,280, and we get a total height of 17,428 feet. Wow, that's quite high. Uh, none of the mountains in Colorado are quite that high, but if you go to Alaska, you definitely can go higher than that. And the pressure, air pressure then would be less than half. At, at the time you pass 17,500 feet, you're now at less than half the atmospheric pressure at sea level. So that begs the question, what is the pressure at the top of Mount Everest? Now, if you remember right, the height at Mount Everest is 29,028 feet. I think that's correct. Anyway, it's pretty close if it's not. And let's convert that to miles because our equation is in terms of miles. H is in miles, so let's convert that to miles. The conversion factor, we want miles at the top, feet at the bottom so we can cancel out the feet. And one mile is 5,280 feet. So divide that number, 29,028, divided by 5,280. And it's 5.497, oh, let's call it 5.5 miles. So Mount Everest is five and a half miles above sea level. All right, 
So now let's plug that into our equation. The pressure as a function of height is equal to 14.7 pounds per square inch times e to the minus 0.21 h. And of course, we're going to plug in 5.5 for h. So the pressure when h is equal to 5.5 is equal to 14.7 e to the minus 0.21 times 5.5. All right, let's multiply the exponent 0.21 negative times 5.5. <clears throat> We now have the pressure when the height is equal to 5.5 miles above sea level is equal to 14.7 pounds per square inch times e to the minus 1.155. All right, let's evaluate that. e to the x of that exponent times 14.7 equals, and so this is equal to pressure as a function of height and height is 5.5, is 4.63 pounds per square inch. Now, remember what this number here represented. Let's do this again. So we have point, or uh, we have 1.155, and that's e to the x. So if we go ahead and rewrite this as the pressure where height is equal to 5.5 miles is equal to 14.7, times, and this quantity right here is actually 0 0.315, which means if we convert that to percent, that is equal to 14.7 times 31.5%. So the atmospheric pressure at the top of Mount Everest is only 31.5% of the pressure you find at sea level, which makes it so difficult uh, to climb Mount Everest because human lungs are not made to operate at air pressure, that's only 31.5% of what it is at sea level. And so you cannot stay up at that level for very long before your lungs begin to give out on you. Okay, at any rate, that's how you work with exponential decay in this particular example. On to the next example.